Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, I'm going to show you how you make the gaff for impossible card change. Right, you need five cards, you need a joker, any joker, right, and four other cards. If you don't want to use all cards, you can use the guarantee cards because two of them are only get, going to be getting used as a filler. You need a sharp knife, double sided stick tape, some glue. Super glue is better, but I don't want to stick my bloody fingers together, so I'm just using an, a cheap craft glue. Hopefully that'll do. And a ruler. Right. You start off, you get a bit of double-sided stick tape. I don't know if he's got anything written on the back. That one's got something written on the back, so that's got to be used as a block of cards. So I'll stick that one onto this one. That's got nothing on the back. That's got nothing. That's got nothing. Right. So you start off, you get a bit of double sided stick tape, stick it on one of the cards and stick another one on the top so that they're perfect, perfectly lined up, right? Turn it over so it's face down. You can see better if it's facing down. Another, another bit of double sided stick tape, stick it in the middle of another card and you want to try and position this so it's equal on both sides, if you know what I mean. So it's going right down the middle. Of the card um, that should do me sound right take your sharp knife and you don't want to cut all the way through this top card all all the way like that you want to leave a little crossbar if you like across the top Uh, so I'll go from that little line there and we'll cut down from there. And I do apologise if this takes forever, but it takes as long as it takes. Now I need to do the same on this side. So from about there. Coming down, coming down, and it doesn't matter if this cut goes through the second card because you've got to cut part of the second card. So you got that done, you can remove that one, and before you forget, take the double sided stick tape off it because you're going to use that again in a minute. Get rid of that now. Take your ruler and you want to join these two cuts together so that's there to there and this cut can only go through the top card so don't go too hard and get it going right the way through the second one and once you're done you should end up with what looks like a goal post well goal posts well, goalposts to us here who play proper, proper football. Not this keeping the ball in your hands. How can you call that football? You're not kicking the bloody thing. Yeah, I'm only having a laugh with you. I am. I know you Americans love your football. I see, once you cut that. Just through the top card. You're going to come off. Come on. Have I got through here yet? Press a little bit harder on it. Hopefully that's done the job here this time. Would help if my knife was sharper, wouldn't it? I'll just sharpen this knife up. Right, this will work a damn sight better now. There. 
day. Oh, still hasn't gone all the bloody way. Look at that. So you'd end up with goal posts, right? Now, what you want to do on this other card is cut it all the way. So again, follow the part that you just cut off. And that's the top one. And remember what way around they are. Just in case you haven't got it dead centre. Just so you know which part goes on which. These two pieces then are useless so you can bin them. Now, take a card that you want to use. Now, if you're right handed, you want to stick this, the crossbar, on the left hand side of a face up card. If you're left handed, you want to do it the other way because obviously you'll be holding it in your right hand. So I need mine to go down that side. So I'll try this glue, see what this is like. Never used this before. So we'll see what this is like now. Oh dear, it comes out really spongy. And you need the glue to go right to the edges. Down both sides and obviously across this part here. Right, get that on there for a minute. Now you need to get this and stick this onto this card, making sure that it's all squared up. Right, this would have been better with bloody super glue because I can see this stuff taking an age to set. So I'll just let it set and I'll come back. Right, and once that's set, you now need to glue these two pieces, one onto that one and one onto the top one. So I'll just glue them down and I'll come back again. Right, once you've glued them two pieces on, you should end up with what looks like that. Yeah crossbar and then these two sides raised up like the width of another card now you get the card that you're going to be using as your force card or your change card and that should slide nicely into that gap right get it all the way in then trim it off right at the edge bloody hell yeah Trim it off right at the edge, he says, and then it doesn't do that. Tell you what, I'll use the ruler. I'll put the ruler on it. And I can make sure I get a proper cut. Right. So you cut that bit off. So that should go flush with the card. Right? The end of the card. I think it needs just a little trimming more of it. Just take another little, tr another little trim just down there. Like that. Oh. Now that should slide right the way in, so you're not going to see it at the edge, right? Then you get your joker and you glue your joker on across the top and across the bottom only, not down the sides, top and bottom, right? I'll be back once I've done that. Right, so once you glue the joker on, you should end up with this. Hopefully you get it as square as you can do. 
You notice on one side there's a little slit which is a card thick and on the other side once it opens up it's actually two cards thick right so you can see it's two cards thick that side and one card thick that side right now your little force part you need to put a little lip on there anyone who's seen me performance will notice i've done a bloody big piece yeah gave the game away plus you shouldn't really do this as close as what i am you need a bit of distance for it but off the off cut that you cut off that you want to cut a thin piece from the end right only about a millimeter or so right And what you need to do is glue that, obviously, right along that top edge there, right along that edge, just to give it a little lip, right? So I'll just glue this down because this might be a bit messy and I'll see you in a minute. Right, so as you can see, that's now got a very thin little lip right on the end. It's still not fully dry, so I'll come back in a minute and show you exactly how you do the trick just waiting for this to dry off make sure you get it perfectly straight right so it's flush with the end of the card and it's well you can't see from that can you it's dead straight going down the card right so i'll just let that dry off properly and then i'll come back and we'll show you how it's done right one thing i didn't say when you made your little sleeve thing Put it in a book or under something heavy and leave it there basically overnight. Get it all going nice and flat. I've just quickly rushed. I've just stuck a couple of decks of cards on top of a pencil box. Just to try and flatten it. Get that. Ooh. Ooh. Just to turn them that way. It's going to, going to hit the wire. Ooh. Right. So just get them out the way for a minute. Move them out the way. And that should be flatter. Yeah. Right, all's ready and done. That's the double side. That's the side that's going to come out. The side that's coming out, that's where you want your lip. So you'd feed that in to this gap. If you can open it up. I think I've squashed it a bit too much. You want to have that fed in there. Just need to open this up a little bit. That a bit better get that in there so it's all nice right oh and by the way that is not peter the paper clip no that is baby brother paul yeah i use him for sticking gluey things down don't tell peter whatever you do right i'll put him down there out the way right move me a little wristband get that out the way right now how do you do the trick um, but I'll tell you if I can remember what bloody card I've just gone and shoved in there. What card have I just gone and shoved in there? We'll soon find out. Hopefully we will anyway. Queen of Spades. Queen of Clubs. Right? And you can notice already that that is less noticeable than the version that I've done. And yet, if, you, if you're not onto it, there is another card underneath it. Yeah. So, Queen of Clubs. That's the card I'm going to be using. So that's the card I've got to force. Jokers, get off. So find the Queen of Clubs in your pack. And there she lie. Don't know what that's for. Get that in the middle of the packet. Your Queen of Clubs go on the top of the packet. You need another joker. Um, I'll use this one. You should really use matching jokers, right? This is the gimmick card, so you can keep your eye on it. That's the other one. Have them on the table. Have the gimmick behind the other one, so it's not really seeable. Get a spectator to select any card that they like. Seven of spades. Put it into the packet, and by whatever means you you want, control it to the top, right? So I'm going to control it to the top. Then you do a double lift to show the Queen of Clubs. 
turn it back down, take the top card, which isn't the Queen of Clubs, it's their card, put it down. Pick up your jokers and you can show them front and back. You should have the same colour back on. You show them, stick your gimmicked one behind the other one. Then you take the card without them seeing the front of it, otherwise they'll give the game away. And what you're doing is sliding it into that gap that you've just gone and made. And make sure it goes on top of the card that's in there, right? And you just push it through and you feel it connect with the other card. And you can push it out. Now that looks a damn sight better than the one that I've done the other day. And you can turn it over and they'll still see the Queen of Clubs. Whatever magic gesture you want to do. And you just push it in flush. And then you can pull that card out. And again you can show front and back of the jokers. Don't give it out for examination. Front and back. And there's their card, and there we go. Dead easy, wasn't it? It's just a bit of pain in the arse waiting for it all to dry when you're gluing it. Um, yeah, so they think Queen of Clubs is going in between the two jokers, but it's actually going into that slot. Hey, up. What happened there? Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am going the right way. I missed it. You will have to fiddle around finding your best way of getting it to contact. Why isn't it contacting that card now? Ah, I was going underneath the card. As I say, it looks a lot better as long as it stays together. It's hardly noticeable. I've got to get really right up close for you to notice that from a distance. From a distance. I'll just bring that up a bit. From a distance, you wouldn't notice. You'd think it was just the one card. And you can turn it over and show it to that one. And then you just push them all straight and you pull that out. And jobs are good. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as I say, thank it. I want to thank everybody that watched that one for not criticising me because you could see it really bad. I've got it somewhere. Where have I put it? Yeah. This is the one that I, I used in my performance. And it's not even contacting the card now. If you don't want to see this, you can switch off. Why aren't you contacting the card? Is that card still bloody well in there? Yeah, I don't even know if that card's in there now. If it is, it's not pulling it bloody out. I bet you it's got stuck with glue. It's the back. It's not contacting it at all. Let's try it. As if, me, as if using a different card makes any difference. I'm going to need the bloody thing, no wonder. I've got the card the wrong way around. No, it's not even coming out now. Always useful, always useful to have tools lying around. That just does not want to come out of there. I don't think it's bloody in there. It wasn't bloody in there. <sighs> yeah, so. That was in there. I mean, this is the way it went on the performance, as you as are all well away. So you can see on that. You can see the bloody big difference between that one. And this one I've just done.
looks a hell of a lot better. You need a very thin piece. And you can see, if I can get that card out the way, I can get that one out the way. You can see the difference in sizes between what I used on me trick. Turn it that way, you can see it now, compared to that one. Yeah, so you need it really thin. And I've taken enough of your time up, you should probably budge coolest now. So I will let you go and let you get on with making your own one and having a go. And thank you very much for watching. And that one's useless, that can get thin now. And you could use that because I could always make another one of them. Yeah, anyway, so I'll see you again soon. I will. Ta da.